Now, your CBS4 Storm Tracker forecast, sponsored by the Javier Villarreal Law Firm. Good cereal, not the sugary kind, of course. That's probably what they meant. And of course, you can just join marching band. That that's how <laughs> that's how it got a little dark outside in the sun. All right, let's take a look at uh, DHR. This is a live image out there in Edinburgh, and uh, you can see the clouds really starting to roll in. It's beautiful outside. Winds, though, they have started to pick up. Uh, 18 miles per hour out towards Port Isabel, and if you're in Wessico right now, 10 miles per hour. Um, Edinburgh's still around nine miles per hour, but they'll pick up for you guys uh, very, very soon. Temperatures right now staying within the mid 80s, and we do expect to get up to around 90, 91 degrees out there. Rio Grande City, Roma, Falcon, a little higher than that, probably about uh, close to 96, 97 out there as we go through the day today. But really the concern is that UV index is that remains extreme. Uh, clouds have started to roll in over the past few hours early this morning, barely a cloud out there, but now they've started to roll in. And uh, as we mentioned before, spotty showers are possible and they're out there. They're just a little hard to see. In fact, I'm going to zoom in here uh, and you can see a little bit of rain out towards Bayview. Uh, and even then, some of that is just a ground clutter. Uh, east of Rio Hondo, you'll be able to see some of that rain there, but very slight spotty showers that are just passing through. Uh, it feels uh, start, it feels comfortable right now, but it's going to start getting a little more uncomfortable as we go on throughout the afternoon and really because of the UV index. So you can only be outside for, for about 15 minutes before you really start to feel it along your skin. Uh, 90, 91 degrees is what we're expecting in those spotty showers, as I mentioned before, mostly along the coastal areas where we should see them as the wind starts to come in from the southeast uh, at around 15 to 20 miles per hour. Rainfall forecast over the next few days. As I mentioned, that chance of rain is still there today. But as we go through Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, not so much Friday night into Saturday. Now that's where you start to see some of the action again, Saturday and Sunday around 30% chance of rain, especially on Sunday itself, where they really starts to kick up in high gear. As I mentioned before, look at future cast and really it shows most of the rain pop possibilities out towards uh, Willacy County, out towards Cameron County and northern parts of Hidalgo County. So the more populated regions shouldn't see some of that rain at all. Uh, and then these just pop up. But even then, I doubt that's going to happen. Your marine excuse me, your marine forecast choppy conditions out towards the bay, three to four feet surf with your tide at around 1021, which passed just a while ago. So uh, pretty much you're clear for the rest of the day. Beach forecast though, 83 degrees for to today, 83 degrees for tomorrow. Windy conditions out there, partly cloudy as I mentioned before, and your seven day forecast for your weekend is always in view. Uh, we're going to start warming up over the next few days, hitting about 92 by Thursday, 93 by Friday, and that chance of rain starts to increase for the weekend.